I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hi, Hi everyone, and welcome to Soap News Weekly. We are AfterBuzz TV's entertainment news for all of your favorite soap operas. I'm Tammy Gavea. And I'm Chelsea Overacker. <laughs> And we are still recuperating from last week's yeah, news. We are. It's like a hangover. It really is. That won't go away. I know. I, I know. I'm still emotional. Yeah. And no one's over the news that we got last no. week with Freddie Chandler. And it's just like waves, like Galen. And they like, bleh, bleh, bleh. yeah. I know. It's like all this stuff. It is. That's pretty much how my week of news went. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who we have in the chat room. There's a lot of people in the chat room yes and we even have a new face dorlias dolores dolores is that dolores yes sorry my internet's still acting up it's not downloading yes hi oh. dolores welcome to soap news weekly we have susan russo we have there kenneth of course and i know annie's in this chat room somewhere but yes she said she's not feeling well so annie we oh, are sending you feel better get well I don't know what the weather's like on your end of the world, but it's been weird here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like been really cold at night and really cold in the morning, and then it gets really warm and hot in the afternoon. So I don't know what to wear anymore. I don't know. It's confusing. Oh. It's confusing. But what's not confusing is the news. So you ready to get into it? Let's get into All it. All right. Let's start with the bold and the beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh, yeah, I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. You know, if you are a Bold and the Beautiful fan, then you know little Henry David Sumiri, who plays Douglas on The Bold and the Beautiful. He, he's five. Oh. Okay? Now, he started the show when he was four, and this little thing is amazing they don't just give him three or four lines they give him monologues oh my gosh. like intense intense stuff and i remember when we had uh, matthew atkinson on the show and even in annika noel um they're playing opposite him mm -hmm. they're like you know playing opposite henry man he knows your lines he knows everybody's lines so he kind of raises the bar yeah which is amazing that's great so he posted on instagram he said one year ago today, I walked through the doors of CBS to Studio 31. I could not have been luckier than to end up working with some of the best talent and best friends I hope to have for life. Thank you, Bold and Beautiful, for trusting in my little five-year-old self, and I hope I've made you proud. Ugh. Look at this little thing. Oh, that's so Look how cute. adorable he is. He's amazing, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping... First, the soaps have to stay around. Yes. So, so may the bold canvas. and beautiful be on for another 37 years. And I hope he grows up on the show. Yeah. I love it when the kids who are little things grow up, literally grow up on the show. That's awesome. So here's to more, Mr. Henry. Next up, we have Ashley Jones, who you will also remember as playing Bridget Forrester on The Bold and the Beautiful. Now, Ashley has been off the canvas um, since Christmas episode of 2018. So it's been over a year. She's back, you guys. Uh, she posted on Instagram. She had a shot with her script in hand. Oh, yes, nice. which is so cute. And she said that the episode that she's going to be in is scheduled to air on Monday, March 30th. She said she also brought uh, her son to the set to help her run lines oh, which was so super cute. cute yes so we love that ashley is back on the canvas again her first episode is going to be airing march 30th and we are looking forward to it another thing to look forward to everyone lawrence sing victor who plays carter on the bold and beautiful lawrence and carla mosley who is also mm -hmm. on bnb have worked together on a show called wed locked it's a youtube show and Lawrence and Carla, uh, the screening of their web series is going to be this Friday, which is tomorrow, mm -hmm. February 21st, at 9, 10 p.m. Um, at the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival. If you want more information, be sure to go onto his Instagram because they've got links to the Pan-African Film Arts Festival itinerary, what's, what's being shown. Yeah. He also posted on Insta, 
we had such an amazing cast and crew as well as fantastic supporters. Go onto his Insta for more information, but you can also go onto YouTube and just search Wed Locked the series. Mm -hmm. It's really wonderful. Check it out. It's really fun. And another fun thing is if you like The Bold <laughs> and the Beautiful, we have a recap show here at After Buzz TV. It's called The Bold Breakdown, created by Mr. James Lott Jr. He and I <laughs> co-host that show. And the next one is scheduled to be on Sunday, March 15th at 2.15 p.m. So check it out. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome, Chelsea. Now, time for some days oh. of our lives. Oh. This might soothe me too much, but I'm going to start falling asleep. Maybe you should be playing the song when you're in two hours of traffic. Oh, my god! Driving from Orange County. I'm never going to make it. I, know. I would pull over and take a nap, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yes, two hours to get here, but I'm so happy to be here. Yes. But we are still recovering, as we mentioned from Freddie and Chandler. And last week we talked more about Freddie's thoughts and how, what he was feeling on the podcast. But in a recent interview, Chandler did break the silence and kind of told us how he was feeling for the whole thing. And he stated, I was stunned. I didn't even know what to say. It just seems like our story was so unfinished. Neither actors was told the news ahead of time. They had to find out by reading the last pages of the last script, seeing oh. clarification about making that discovery, which as an actor, as talent, that's very hard. Um, so we definitely can feel for them. You know, imagine going in, reading your last script, kind of wondering, okay, why isn't our storyline continuing? and not really finding out till last minute. I mean, I, I know that there are shows that scripts of the end, nobody, you know, nobody in the cast knows what's going on until no. the last minute. But I think it's, it's kind of, it's unfortunate, but it's kind of typical in daytime. It is. Where if someone's being released, they don't know nothing from nothing. They don't. Yeah, there's so many talent that we've interviewed, especially with daytime and soap operas, that they don't really get a heads up. And I don't understand why. I, I don't never know. understood that either. I mean, I know soaps are super sensitive about anything being leaked out, but I would think that they'd have enough trust and know that their cast has a high level of integrity yeah. that if they're being released, they're not going to say anything. No. I think it's just kind of a common courtesy that if you're releasing someone from their contract to give them a heads up. Especially yeah. for someone that's been there for 10 years. Yes. So I'm reprimanding, I'm reprimanding days of our lives show winners. Yes. And Chandler even finished with his statement saying, we actually talked to one of the producers. It was weird vibe, that conversation. I wonder if he felt bad it was happening or that no one talked to us about it first or both. It's such an uncomfortable scenario. Like, why put yeah. people in that situation? It is. Just handling of it kind hurt my feelings a little bit. Mm. Poor Chandler. So we feel for you because it's hurting us too, Chandler. Yes, it is. Um, but you know, it is a very tough business out there. It's it's daytime, it's Hollywood. It happens yeah. all the time. You just, things get let go. And you know, if you're lucky enough, you'll get a reason why either, you know, an actor's leaving a show or why a show is getting pulled or anything. It's just the way it is. Yeah, it's you know, to be in this business, you just gotta you gotta roll with you it. You gotta roll with you it. You truly do. It's the art of just rolling with the punches. They did, and I think especially on Freddie's podcast, I loved listening to it because yeah. he just has such a positive energy and outlook on everything. Yeah, the Freddie and Alyssa show. It's just such so an amazing great. podcast. So great. You guys yeah. really need to check it out. Absolutely. Another thing that we want to say to Galen Gary is that he's going to be leaving the canvas as well. Uh. And he posted a sweet picture on his birthday. On Instagram, he commented, thank you all so much for the incredible birthday wishes. I've always seen birthdays as a day of reflection and opportunity to look back at where I've been and where I'm going. So it's oddly benefiting that today happens to be my last day of days. How okay, universe, what kind of yeah. what kind of stars aligned that his birthday also fell on the last day of his taping of the show? Crazy but That's Kookaroo. I love how he put it by saying, I always see birthdays as an opportunity. So when one door closes, another one opens. Uh, and you never know, he might have some stuff lined up for him. Which we'll talk about. We'll talk later about. In the show. 
But another actor on day, she's no longer on the canvas, but she has some amazing things lined up. Olivia Rose Keegan just landed a recruiting role on High School Musical, the series. So fantastic. And are you familiar with High School Musical? Yes. Yes. Okay, I was watching oh, it. Oh, yes. I was watching it today on Disney Plus High School Musical 2, Troy and Gabrielle. Anyways, um, so the series is about these teenagers staging High School Musical. Yes. So I cannot wait to see what Olivia plays. That's going to be exciting. Oh, and be sure to check out After Buzz. They have an after show for the High School Musical series. It's really good. So any, I'll even check that out. It's good. Okay, that's good. good any to know. Disney Plus fans out there, be sure to check out the after show. Another thing you guys should check out is our after show, Dish and Days, on Sundays at 3.15 p.m. Yes, and this Sunday we have Kevin Spiritus mm. in the house Yay. to talk about his web series after forever so dish and days sunday 3 15 p.m we start more at 3 20 but be there by 3 15 <laughs> be there by 3 because the chat three. room gets crazy they do it's they really do. fun in the chat room oh yeah so join the chat join away and then another thing you want to join is soap news weekly we are on apple podcast and be sure to follow us on our socials. We are on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Soap News Weekly. Yes. <laughs> and we always just want to remind people to continue to support the soap mm -hmm. operas. Again, you know, there's only four left. Um, fortunately, you know, we've also got some lovely web series that are that are continuing on and new ones that are popping up every day. So the soap genre is seems to be transitioning mm -hmm. into the, the streaming platform. Mm -hmm. Keeping it alive, guys. You know, just support the soaps, support the world. Tell a friend um, about your favorite shows, including Soap News Weekly. Yes. Okay. Let's get into some news about General Hospital. We totally missed it. I guess I'm on a motorcycle. I <laughs> I'm on a flying carpet. Okay. How's that? Yes. <laughs> We have been talking, you know, how long have we been doing this show since October? So Maurice Bernard mm -hmm. has a book coming out called Nothing General About It. And it's a it's a memoir, an autobiography, and he's very candid about his journey with manic depression and, you know, being bipolar and and so along in alongside the book, the hard copy, he's also doing an audio mm -hmm. version, which I love audio books. Yeah. So he posted on Instagram a little bit about what the experience was like making the audio book. <laughs> well, let me just say this. I have never I've never done an audio book. It's like method audio book. <laughs> <laughs> Are you but living me, all over again? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a chapter called uh, no, I can't name the name of the chapter. Oh, a spoiler! But mm. it, it's about mental. When I was in the mental institution, mm. I didn't know that. Neither did I. And uh, I don't know. It it got me, and I, I it, a lot of things, you know, would get me, and then I couldn't talk, and but uh, especially when I talked about my dad and mm. Paula mm. and my mom, his wife, and my, yeah. It's deep. It's deep. All I can say is I can't wait for everybody to to listen to this audio book. I'm looking. I love how emotional no. he gets, you know, because as his character, Sonny Corinthos, doesn't get emotional very often. No. And so it's beautiful to see Maurice this vulnerable, speaking about, you know, what he speaks about in the book and and, and, you know, the personal relationships with his wife and his parents. And um, can't wait. Again, the book is called Nothing General About It and will be coming out soon along with the audio book. <laughs> we have a lot of birthday wishes. Yes, we on do. On General Hospital. Yeah, we do. So we want to wish some happy birthdays to Ashton Arbob, who plays Devin. We want to wish happy birthday to Michael Easton, who plays Dr. Finn Hamilton. You also may know him from One Life to Live. Uh, and Nicholas Bechtel, who plays Spencer Cassidy. Now, Nicholas, this is actually, this is a younger photo that they posted on the Insta for General Hospital. But he recently came, he's been off the canvas, and then he recently came back on. It's like, oh, my God, I almost didn't recognize him. Because he's like four inches taller. And yeah. he's one of those kids that have, you know, grown up on the show. 
So happy birthday, everyone. We're wishing you all the best and continued love and good wishes. If you are a General Hospital fan and you want to talk to other General Hospital fans, After Buzz TV has a recap show called The GH Report. You can find that show on Sundays at 6.15 p.m. GH Report for all the recap of what went down this week. And there's a lot going down. <laughs> a lot happening. A lot happening. <sighs> we gotta get a piano and just like really do it. Why not? Now this shouldn't I should not listen to in the car. <laughs> no, my gosh. But right before I go to bed. <laughs> All right, Shamar Moore grieves from the loss of his mother, Marilyn Joan Wilson Moore, who dies at age seventy six. Mm. Um, he shared on Instagram how difficult her death has been, and he quoted in the video that will play, "I'm hurting real bad. It's not a game. It's not a joke. And anyone that you lose, especially your mom." It's hard. Yeah. It's very hard. And he hasn't posted about it because you'll see in the video, but it, it took him a while to put this on a public platform Absolutely. because he was just hurting so bad. It's difficult enough talking about it in a non-public platform, exactly. let alone yeah, Instagram. So, totally but, get it. Um, here he is on Instagram just grieving over his mom. Your baby boy is okay, but I'm hurting real bad. It's not a game, it's not a joke. I'm hurting real bad. I've been offline for some weeks now. I've had to keep a secret out of Respect to my mom. Ten days ago, ten days ago, mm -hmm. February 8, 2000, this is real life. It's just hard. Yeah. Um, 2020. Yeah. I. J just, well, <laughs> it's just, it's hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the way he was just looking in, you know, the video, just saying, this is, I can't, you know, I can't believe this is happening. And, and you just, you feel it. Is like yesterday. I know. I mean, that's nothing. Nothing. No, it's still. Wow. No. So our thoughts and condolences definitely go out to him. Yeah. Um, but some good news. <laughs> uh, Sasha Kaya releases a cover of Lauren Hill. She shared on Instagram, a piece of my heart, patience has been a huge factor for me during the process of creating my first music project. Singing, writing, performing, it does something to me I could never explain, it's home. So here's a piece of her singing. The gaze of man, surprise rich I know. voice my gosh i know it really lovely so not only could she act but she can sing and you know singing definitely is a passion of hers yeah so um it's very emotional it, it is so it's exciting to see what 2020 is going to bring with her in the music career yeah. so just keep going keep going can't wait for more stuff and some other stuff that you guys would want to check out is our after show for Y&R. It's on Sundays at 5.15, The Restless Wrap. Be sure to be there. Okay, we're going to get into some alumni and daytime news. Let's start off with a Starstruck fan event. Yes. Yeah, now yeah. we've been promoting this fan event for a long time now. But it's finally arriving. Yay. So February 22nd and 23rd in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Starstruck's Got Talent. And so the lineup is Cassie DePaiva, Eric Martsoff, Wally Kurth, and Jacob Young. Oh. These four folks are so insanely musically talented. It's going to be so much fun. 
so much fun. For more information, please everyone go to starstruckfanevents.com for tickets, availability, and they've got all sorts of information, so make sure and check it out. Another thing you want to check out is Blake Barris. We had him in studio a few weeks ago, and he's working on the film Fangirl, yes. which is very exciting. And when we interviewed him, he wasn't able to say who the full cast was. Right, but he told us about Sean Christian. We knew about Sean Christian. But that was it. But we have some other news. Oh my gosh. Well, Eileen Davidson is joining the cast. Huge! That is so Score. good. That is epic. You got Eileen Oh epic. my god, epic. And Catherine Close, Galen Garing, and then Sean Christian, which he talked about a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Um, so make sure to go to their Insta at official fangirl film to find out more information. And you could go to the website www.seed and spark to help fa- to make fangirl reality. Yes. So it's a fundraising platform and they have many different levels of donations that you can make. You know, one level of donation will give you an autograph, you know, mm-hmm. from a soap star. Another donation will actually give you a live message from one of your favorite soap stars. Um, another donation will get you into the film. Like, you can you literally guys, be in the movie Fangirl. That's what I was going to say. You guys can be in the movie. It's a win win situation. You're helping the movie out and. You get to be a part of it. And and the scene, cool. the scene is a soap opera fan event. Yeah. With real soap opera actors. So you get to meet your favorite soap opera yes. actors, especially now we know that Eileen is in there. Yes. So come on, come on. Seedandspark.com, folks. Make sure and support. Check it out. Okay, another thing we want to support is Miss Kelly Thebod. Now, we know Kelly from General Hospital. Mm-hmm. She played Brit. And so she posted on Insta, happy wife, happy life. But she's, re- she's, re- she's referring to her co-star, her partner on the television show, her co-star, Rigo Sanchez, where they will both be starring in Station 19 tonight. Yay! Yeah, so Station 19 tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure and check out Kelly and Rigo. And I'm beyond excited. I miss her terribly mm. on Jenner Hospital. Her, her character, Britt, was just feisty and smart and gorgeous and um i love that she's on station 19 that's a great gig it's gonna be a great gig. any chance you could work with shonda rhimes i'm telling you oh yes do it (laughs) now it's daytime in real time this is fun so it looks a lot (laughs) there we go It looks like a lot of your soap opera stars are vacationing together right now. We have Days of Our Lives, Christian Alfonso, posted from a beach in Florida with General Hospital's Wes Ramsey. Oh, actually, no. Christian's by herself in Florida. Oh, she's by, okay, she's by herself in Florida. While General Hospital, Wes Ramsey, and his special gal, Laura Wright, are enjoying themselves in Cabo. Yes. They should be vacationing together. That would be so awesome. (laughs) Okay, so Christian's in Florida, and then we have Wes Ramsey and Laura and Cabo. Yes, and the beach photos are so great. Oh, Wes my gosh. and Laura are such a sweet couple. Yeah, I actually saw them hiking one day at Running Canyon. Did you? Oh, yeah, I think you told I, me that. I think I texted you. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Wes Ramsey and Laura right are here. <laughs> so that was great. Oh, nice. Another thing that's great, folks. Sal Stowers. Okay, so we know is Lonnie from Days of Our Lives. Not sure if you know that she's a certified personal trainer. No, I did not. She's a certified personal trainer. And she also has a passion project. She posted on Instagram. She says, I am deeply passionate about the work of World Vision. I had the opportunity this past summer to travel to Zambia with World Vision and see their work in person. So I thought that I would use a jerry can. I mean, this photo of her and video is I don't know how heavy this thing is. It looks incredibly heavy. She said, I thought I would use a jerry can in my workout today to bring awareness to the water crisis around the world and how World Vision's water program is changing the lives of many by giving them access to fresh, clean water. She goes on to tell about how children miss out on going to school because they have to go get water Mm -hmm. for for their family. And oftentimes this water is contaminated and dirty yeah. to begin with. And World Vision is an, is an amazing organization that helps to address this huge issue. And, you know, clearly she was affected 
uh, by her trip there and wants to support and we appreciate all the support that is so sweet it is sweet Oh my gosh, I think that's going to do it for the week. Yeah, great week. Though, it was a good overall. week. It was a really good week. Look, the storylines are, have you have you caught up on days? Not yet. Tonight's okay. my catch-up night. Oh my gosh. So wait, today is Thursday, so I think it was Tuesday's episode is super good. I hear it's great. <gasps> it's super good. Because uh, Bill Hayes celebrates his 50th anniversary yes, on Days of Our yep. Lives. So they do lots of flashbacks. Oh, I love that they I do the flashbacks. Which I always love. So you see Bill Hayes, you know, long, long time ago. And you do you see the whole evolution of Bill and when he first meets Julie. You know, and that's when Bill and Susan started yet. seeing one another. And how that beautiful romance is still going strong all these years later. So it was lovely. It was really, really lovely. Aw, I cannot wait. Yeah, this is going to be a great week, but I'm hearing so far, yes. especially um, the fans who are tweeting me. I'm just like, oh, that does look good. That it looks does. good. It does. Like, Days is finally revealing all the secrets. Mm -hmm. um, General Hospital, finally. There's been baby secrets forever. That's finally coming to the forefront. Um Bold and Beautiful is making me crazy because they're just dragging on the storyline. And James and I talked about it last week, and it's like, okay, we just need to wrap, wrap it up. this up, people. And, uh, you know, and Sharon Case is killing it on YNR, man. Of course, with her storyline. With her storyline. So good. She's just doing amazing work. Yeah. So we're loving it. Where can people find you, Miss Chels? You could find me on Instagram at Chelsea Overrocker and on Twitter at Chelsea Overrocker. And you can find Soap News Weekly again across all social media platforms Facebook, Instant, Twitter at Soap News Weekly. And you can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and Insta at Tammy.Govea. Thank you so much for supporting us. We will see you next week with special guest. Remember, Dish and Days, Kevin Spiritus. Check it out. We'll see you next week. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.